Hello, welcome to the online tutorial for reporting participation for the after school program. This is an instructional video demonstrating how you can submit your monthly participation. For step by step written instructions, you can also refer to the reference guide. Participation is recorded using the Grants Ontario system. To log into the Grants Ontario system, you must be registered to OneKey and enrolled with Grants Ontario. If you have not been set up to access Grants Ontario, please refer to the Grants Ontario Registration Guide for details and instructions of how to do so. If you have access to Grants Ontario, then you can proceed with entering the account information. After entering the one key ID and password, click Sign In to log into the system. Then, you can click on the hyperlink to the Grants Ontario system to open Grants Ontario. When you have successfully logged in, you'll see a personalized home page with a snapshot of your relevant information. On the home page, in the top left, you'll see a quick navigation menu to different sections in the system. On the top right, you have contact information to the Grants Ontario Help Desk. Below that, you'll see a list of uh, recent applications for your organization. And underneath that, you'll see a list of outstanding reports. This is where you'll find quick access to your participation. In this list, you see any participation reports that need to be submitted. From here, you can quickly access the participation for the month by clicking on the participation hyperlink. Alternatively, if you want to see all participation reports, including the ones you've already submitted, click on My Organization's Reports. From here, you can access any participation including submitted ones, pending ones, and draft participation by clicking on the participation hyperlink. If you select a participation record for a month that has not yet begun, you will not be able to enter any information and you will be displayed the following message. If you are responsible for submitting participation for multiple sites, you will then be able to access participation as follows. After logging into Grants Ontario, Click on the My Account link on the top right corner of the screen. Then, click on the Related Organizations hyperlink. Now you will be displayed a list of sites for your organization. Click on the link for the site you would like to access. A list of all reports will appear. From here you can select any particular month to access the participation. Once you are done, you can scroll down and click on the Go to Related Organizations button to quickly return to the Related Organizations screen where you can select another site. Let's begin with entering participation for a month. You have the ability to enter participation week by week or at the end of the month. After you have accessed the participation record as I described earlier in the video, you will see this screen. This screen contains a number of sections. At the top are report details, which is basic information about the report. Below that is days of operations, which is used to specify the days of the week the site was open. Underneath that is participation. This is where participants in the program and their participation for each week is entered. Below that are an area where you can attach any supporting documentation as required. And the final section is the list of buttons. The process begins by entering the days of operation. For each week, enter the number of days the site is open. You can use the comments field to provide any descriptions as required. If you enter more than five days, the system will display the following message. Otherwise, enter all your information and ensure to click Save when completed. Now you can begin entering participation information. In the Participation section, click on the New button to create a new participant. A form is displayed. Enter information about the participant. First, enter an identifier. Now this is very important, do not enter any personal information in this field. 
You can use numeric values, acronyms, or IDs from any computer system that you may use, but the identifier must be unique and cannot contain personal information. You can also select a grade and a gender. You have the option to enter the weekly participation for each week. As you enter the information, the system saves a record. If you enter any values that are greater than the number you reported in the days of operation, you will receive the following error message. Once you are done, click Saved. The new participant record will appear in the participation section. Alternatively, you can just enter partial participant information. So click on the new button and then enter just the participant information above. And then click Save. Let's do it one more time. Then, you can use the grid to enter their weekly participation. You can use the tab button on your keyboard to quickly move between the fields. Again, if you enter any information that exceeds the days of operation reported in the section above, you will receive the message shown on the screen. Repeat this process until all the participation information for the month has been entered. You only have to enter the participant information once, as the system rolls over the information for each subsequent month. When you are done, click on the Submit button to submit your participation for the month. Once the participation has been successfully submitted, the status of the record will change to Submitted. The record becomes read-only, and you will not be able to edit any of the information. If you do need to edit the information, please contact your program coordinator, and they can give you access to do so. When it's time to enter participation for the following month, if you select the participation record as you described earlier in the video, and scroll down to the participant section, you'll notice that all the participation information has been pre-populated. Now you can just enter the weekly participation and not have to enter the participant. An important thing to take note of in the participation area is that it only displays 10 participants at a time. To navigate to the next set of 10 participation records, click on the arrow navigational buttons at the top right corner of the section. If you need to edit a participant, including inactivating a participant, select the checkbox on the far right corresponding to the record and click on the edit button. Make the required updates to the participant information as necessary. If you need to inactivate a participant, uncheck the active flag and click on the save button when all the updates are complete. The updated information will now appear in the participant area. To reactivate a participant, click on the reactivate participant button. A pop-up window appears of all the inactive participants. For the corresponding record, select the active checkbox and then click the OK button. The reactivated participant will now appear in the participation area. We've reached the end of our online video tutorial. We've tried to walk you through all the key steps needed to submit your monthly participation. For additional information, please review the reference guide. Thank you for your time and cooperation.